Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade to 16 gigabytes on the Acer C7 Chromebook running Ubuntu. Uh, it's actually Chromebuntu 12.04. Uh, and I, I originally bought this RAM for my Mac Mini, uh, which I thought I had a 2011 Mac Mini, but I actually had a 2010 Mac Mini. And I know with the 2011 and 2012. Mac Minis, you can go to 16 gigs of uh, RAM, but uh, I realized I had the wrong one, and I held on to these. I bought two of them, uh, eight and eight, and a total of 16. So I was wondering if I can actually install it into my Acer C7 Chromebook. So let's get started. So flip, flip it over. Let's put it on something so it doesn't get messed up. And all you got to do is have a small little screwdriver like this. Uh, there's a sticker here that covers the screw hole, and it's the only screw you have to remove. So we took out the screw, placed it in a little container so you don't lose it. It's very small. And then basically all you do is you uh, slide this little latch right here to remove the battery. I'm sure most of you who know this, who own it, C7 Chromebook know this already. So you remove the battery, we'll place that to the side. And then with the screw out, all you have to do is pull forward towards you. And you pull forward and you pop it out. Now I recommend you don't get any grease. Wash your hands thoroughly because you don't want to put grease on any of the uh, gold, you know, the contacts and things like that. So here is the uh, original 2 gig of RAM. And then basically all you have to do, all you have to do is, there's two little tabs here, so we'll just pop them right off, and pull it out. Put it somewhere safe, and you have two slots here for your RAM. So let's start with the first one. This is a uh, Patriot, 8 gigabyte um, each, and it's PC3, and it's a uh, 1333 megahertz, which is not exactly what we're supposed to be using, but we'll go ahead and use it anyway. So it lines up, you know, it matches perfectly. So all we're going to do is line it up with a little tab right there, make sure it's all the way in, and then gently just push down until it clicks. That's one. Let's do the other one. This video is mainly to show you that it does work uh, when you have Ubuntu running. So we'll pop that one out. And then this one goes the opposite way into a slot here. And you just place it in. Make sure that it's lined up correctly before pushing on it. Make sure it's in. And there we go. There we go. Now it's in. Couldn't see on that angle. So both of them are in now. That's fine. Now we throw the cover back on. Now in the future I'm going to replace this with a, a hard drive. Uh, you just got to make sure you buy the right one. I'll put a link in the description to the one that fits perfectly in there. All you have to do is take off this little clip here. There's two little black things that slide forward. And you basically pull it out. It's just sitting there. Then you put it on uh, the bracket and you put this connection on and you throw it back in and it works beautifully. And that will speed up your computer more than the RAM would. So now we just put the cover right back on like this. And push forward and it's on. Now we'll replace the battery. Now that took seconds. Usually computers you got to take off feet and take off of eight screws. But with this you didn't have to do that. So now let's take a look. It'll boot up. And I'll show you 
what it's all about. So to skip this, we'll control D. And you're going to see that it's working just fine. Take a second to turn on. And there it is. Working. Now, of course, if you change the hard drive with an SSD, then you'll have to put Chrome back on using your recovery, and then you would have to reinstall. Ubuntu. So, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm not ready to increase that, but I, I will, and it'll actually let it run cooler because there's no moving parts in that hard drive, the SSD. So now I, I have a program on here that actually we'll just go to the stock one that actually will tell you how much. I'm going to use the default password. So now if we go into details down here, you'll see here it says 15.4 GIB of memory. So made it to 16. I actually played with it for a while because this, you know, I redid it for the video and it actually works pretty nice. Don't forget to put your screw back in and that's that. So here's the, uh, I'll put the link in the description to where I bought this. I actually bought it pretty cheap. Um, and it's pretty nice so it works I've seen other people increase their their RAM but not with Ubuntu already installed um, which probably doesn't make a difference but anyway there you have it hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next video thank you